and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy that you're here today and I'm excited to be bringing you a Halloween themed video today. I think it's incredible that people take the time to create Halloween dream addresses, but the unfortunate thing is that it's a one day holiday and I really wanna make sure that these amazing creators get some love for these gorgeous islands as well as just help you guys get in the mood for Halloween today. So we are gonna be doing some quick tours of three different gorgeous islands today and my hope is that you will visit them on your own so that you're able to see some of the areas that we maybe won't be able to see um, in this video today. So I'm very excited. Let's head on over to the first island. For our first stop today, we are on the island of Rose Dew, which is created by Alexandria. This island is so gorgeous. I love the combination of the street path with this brick pathing here. All of the villagers are out and about, which is so adorable. Look at this epic pumpkin patch right here. This is so cute. I didn't even know that these like spooky scarecrows even existed, but I am also wearing this custom design dress that she has laid out for us. There are a couple of different costumes um, laid out for you if you do visit this dream address. So I think that's such a fun little touch. Look at this little horse drawn pumpkin here. I just adore this. All of these glowing pumpkins are so precious. And then down here, we actually have a little shopping district. I'm just gonna be running through things very quickly. So I definitely encourage you to visit at your own leisure so that you're able to um, enjoy and take in all of the finer details on these islands. They are incredible. We have a cemetery here. This is so spooky. Oh my gosh, headstones, buy one, get one. Lucky's last stop. Oh my gosh, I wonder if she created these custom designs. I've never seen those before. But over here we have this little graveyard. This is so well done. I feel like it's very whimsical and colorful at the same time, as well as obviously a little spooky, a little Halloween. So up here, it does look like we have a little villager neighborhood. I love the yards that she's created for the villagers. These are so adorable. Oh, this pathing by Colin Crossing is just to die for as well. Everything on this island is so well decorated. I love the way that she's kind of encapsulated their yards with the fencing as well. It just looks so good. And then just down the way, we can see the museum tucked at the back of the island. I absolutely love the statues on either side of the museum. I feel like it gives it like an American Gothic sort of feel. I'm not even really sure, but I also noticed that this is a starry night and I can see some shooting stars in the background. It's such a lovely touch for this dream address. Ooh, what do we have over here? It looks like we have a little sports store. And we have Alexandria herself. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Definitely recognize some coats here from tropicitch.acnh, this Blathers bookstore, and Rudy's sports store. These are so cute. I really wish I could stay and just tour every single little detail of the island, but I do want to leave some surprises for you when you do visit in your own dream. So I'm going to go ahead and put the dream address down below on the screen so that you are able to visit. Definitely be sure to check out Alexandria's social media as well. She has several gorgeous islands that she has created. But let's go on and head over to our second island. Our next island was created by Hayes, and this is Salem Falls, a witch-themed Halloween island. This is incredible. Look at this entrance. We have a little snake underneath some gold nuggets. There are just so many incredible details here. And then as I entered, because you can see we're pretty close to resident services here, I noticed that she's using the Mario brick to display that candle. Then we have this very antique-looking book over here. This island is so, so cool. I love the pathing as well. This like dirt pathing with a little bit of like orange throughout. It just looks so good. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this little area. I don't even know what to call it. It's just like a little like spell casting area. Look at the beach. Oh my gosh. I am getting more and more excited for Halloween just being here right now. Look at this, you guys. Wow, that is so cool. So we have a little library here. That view is just incredible. And I love the simple panel designs as well. This is so incredibly cool. So over here we have Nook's Cranny. I absolutely love the way Nook's Cranny looks in this particular season in the game. Ooh, what is this beware sign? 
wanted. Ooh, very spoopy, very spoopy. I love this like little sign. Is it a pentagram? Clearly I'm not up in my spooky things. Oh, we have a little classroom over here. These custom designed dresses that she's displayed are so incredible. I am seriously blown away. It looks like we're headed into a more residential neighborhood. Look at this. Wow. Okay, so the view, the custom design with the feather, it's insane, you guys. I'm seriously blown away. You have to visit this island. I know we just don't have time to see every single detail, but these are must-sees. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this view. Look at this view. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Hayes, you have outdone yourself. I absolutely love this view right here. These custom design dresses. It almost looks like people standing on the other side of the lake here. That is so kind of eerie. Actually a little bit spooky. I'm not going to lie. It's really cool though. Then we have this amazing beach. I just love all the candles on this time of day. It's incredible. All right, so I'm back over here by this little library area and I really wanted to share this amazing feature that I just found. So you can actually see there is a warp pipe on the floor here. So I'm so excited to show you guys where this is gonna take us. All right, so here we are in her house. Look at the flooring in here, you guys. This is so incredible. So I believe that she's done this by overlaying a custom design over top of, I forget what flooring it is, but there's a flooring in the game that gives it like this spa-like feel. This is so incredible. I love the way that she's divided the room. I'm so excited for Friday because gone are the days that we have to divide rooms with bookshelves, but she has done such an incredible job in here. This is so cool. And that little entrance, the white pipe is such an amazing idea as well. But we are actually gonna end our tour of Salem Falls here because I wanna leave some uncharted waters for you guys to explore. I really hope that you love this island as much as I do. I think that Hayes has done such an amazing job with this. But we are gonna head over to our third and last island. All right, for our last and final island, we are on Nietzsche's Island of Crete, and I just love the soft, kind of subtle touches of fall that we have here. This is so cute, this little spooky standee. I feel like Nietzsche's designs are very unique. I love what she does with the pathing. It's so, so creative, overlaying the little bits of dirt pathing. Look at this gorgeous little picnic area here. I definitely feel like this island is cottagecore meets Halloween, which I just adore. Look at this gorgeous view of the lake in the background. It's absolutely beautiful, and I love the little pumpkins glowing in the nighttime. Over here, it looks like we have a little pumpkin picnic area. This is adorable. I love these little custom designs that she's displaying on the stalls as well. Those are very cute. All right, I completely missed these gifts that were to the left of resident services and this adorable little outfit was in here. I'm obsessed with the paper bag. That's so funny. I don't know what I was expecting, but that made me laugh so hard when I opened it. Nitsa, you are the cutest ever. Oh my goodness. So over here, it looks like we have a little reading nook. I love the white touches for Halloween. I feel like that's somewhat unexpected, but very cool. We have Abel sisters up here. I love the dropped candy outside of Abel's. Oh, and it looks like we have a little view of Nook's Cranny here. This is gorgeous. I love all of the fruit trees as well. That's such a nice touch. I always say this, but I really need to start decorating with fruit trees more often. I always forget about them. All right, I love this entrance here with the spooky um, archway with the teepee on it. That's so funny. This is so cute. This little neighborhood tucked in by the lake. I love the decoy duck. This island is just so charming. Oh my gosh, this house is so cute for a Halloween themed island. I am obsessed. Ooh, this area is so beautiful look at all of these gorgeous flowers she has freshly watered them so they're all sparkling 
That's such a precious little touch. I love the little stump that she's added in. And then this little collection of pumpkins is so beautiful. I absolutely love this area. This is definitely my favorite part of this island so far, which is gonna lead us to a little cemetery over here. Getting a little bit spoopy. Oh my gosh, you guys, this island is incredible. All right, so I'm gonna end my tour of Crete here because I want to leave some things for you to explore on your own. I really hope this video could get you in a Halloween mood today. I hope that you have a safe and happy Halloween. Thank you so much to these three amazing creators who allowed me to feature their islands today. I really do hope that you'll take the time to visit their dream addresses today after you've eaten lots of candy and hopefully spent some time with your friends or family. I do wanna take a second to thank the members of the Fox fam. Thank you guys so so much for supporting my content here on this channel you can also support the channel by liking and subscribing hitting that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when i upload but thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one bye